And we are pleased to be joined today by one of our newest defensemen, Anthony Hamel, who will learn number two for the team. Welcome officially to Moncton. How are you doing? Hi, I'm going very good. Thank you. So this would have been your second quarantine after Christmas. You obviously went home for Christmas uh, with your family, came back. How was um, quarantine number two? And uh, what have you been doing, you know, since you got here to, to fill your days? Yeah, exactly. So is my skin quarantine? So it's for sure two weeks is long and we don't have access to like uh, outside or whatever. So it's long at this time, but we got the chance with the Moncton Wildcat. They gave us like a lot of stuff for training. So like my, what I do every day was I wake up, eat my breakfast. Sometimes we got, but a lot of time we got Zoom, sometimes two Zoom. So I do my Zoom after I do the homework I need to do, mm -hmm. my school, and after I go, I go right on the gym for little hours, and after I come back and <laughs> just chilling, play a little bit of video game, like listening to music, a TV show. So yeah, it that is, over and over again. <laughs> yeah, for two for fourteen days. <laughs> And then you were on the ice for, I believe it was two days for practice, was it? Um, just maybe yeah. talk about your first impressions of the team and, and what you thought of all the guys that, that one day you got with the full team anyway. Yeah, of course. We, we don't have the chance to like play a lot with the boys. But like when I arrived to Moncton, first of all, it's a nice like city. It's like maritime is nice. And but when I see the rink is like NHL rink. Go in the room is big, is clean, is very nice. Mm -hmm. So that's just like show me is like a good organization. And the boys, the staff are amazing. Like that was like when I get trade, I never like live those things. And I was stressed about my friend or all the little stress you can have. Mm -hmm. So, but I realized when not that bad, like. So the boys was there and it's very like in Moncton is a nice place. And I think I, I will have a lot of fun <laughs> playing here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once we get back up and going again, which is hopefully soon, it's a, it's a great group this year. So I'm sure you'll have no problem fitting in. And as you mentioned, this is your second year in the league. So you're with Charlottetown um, last year, of course. Um, people would have seen you play over the year, but for those who don't know you, maybe just talk about what style of player you are and uh, what you're hoping to bring to the team. Yeah, exactly. I am a, like a defenseman more like, I'm not very like a offensive defenseman. So, but I think so I can bring some if I believe on me a little bit more, but of course, like on a PK, I think I can do a very good job. I can help on this side. And I'm not afraid of like blocking shot or like, I don't have scared to have hurt. <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I'm a guy like small guy, like to, to hit like physical. So that's my style. Give a good first pass, be physical, change the momentum of the game beyond PK and support our teammate to be a good leader and protect my teammate. That's what I want to be. And I think I can help the Wildcat for that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. And I know we're all looking forward to, to seeing you in the lineup uh, very soon, hopefully. And uh, talking about your transition to Moncton. So you came out of quarantine. Now you're obviously at your billet. So you were saying you're billeting with uh, LaBelle. So what's that been like for you? You know him a little bit growing up as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like I said a little bit, like, you know, when you arrive, like, somewhere you don't know, I have, like, a buddies is it's nice, so you're not alone, and it's, it's funny because he come from close to my home, and we were, like, playing some summer hockey together, like, a couple tournament, and we were, like, I was going to him, his house, like, playing outside, rollerblade, whatever, and so it's like funny, it's like right now I'm 19 years old and we were like eight, nine, 10 years old and we we're playing yeah. together. And right now we are together again. So it's like <laughs> fun. Crazy. It's fun to know like a good friend, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, that definitely helps. And it's nice that you come full circle, like you said, to have someone from close to home anyway, that you're, 
that you're back reunited with again. So that's exciting for sure. And you have another interesting uh, background that some people might know, some not, but you have um, an interesting family tied to hockey and an NHL connection. So maybe talk a little bit about um, your uncle there and who he is and how he influenced your hockey career. Yeah, exactly. I got like two uncles playing in the NHL, Jean Potvin and Denis Potvin. Uh, you probably know more Denis because he was the captain of the New York Islanders. Mm -hmm. And um, so he, he won the Stanley Cup four times in a row and he was a captain. So that's like proved me like he's a good leader. And yeah. I think like I can improve that too. So, yeah, I, I don't see him a lot, but because he was living in Florida and everything. But when he's at in town in Gatineau, I go see him. We got a little supper, a little talk. So that's that's fun yeah and, um it's fun too to have like a connection about hockey you know like it's good mm -hmm. I can talk hockey with my mom my dad but they don't don't really play the game you know yeah so a guy win four Stanley Cup you know the game and he was a defenseman too like me so it's like I don't know I'll say that it's like a model I can say like yeah a huge somebody, role model yeah yeah somebody I want to follow so yeah. Was that part of the reason that you got involved in hockey in the first place or was other members of your family playing as well? Uh, that's a very good question. When I was young, I do a lot of sport like soccer, like some martial heart and um, like some hockey too. <laughs> and um, like one time, I don't know, I, I was playing hockey and I got a lot of fun at play and probably my uncle like give a little tip to say, Hey, why don't, why not you play hockey? <laughs> so I grew up to like, know my uncle was like a, a big legend or hockey player. Yeah. So that just pushed me like, Oh, it's look fun. Like, you know, like traveling a lot, uh, you know, like know some people do some connection, do some good friend. Mm -hmm. And so I think so. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. And to be a defenseman, I don't know. I like to be defenseman because it's just like another, you see the game very like not the same way of like a goalie or a forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, and I think it's more my type of to be a defenseman. Yeah. And what a great role model to have, you know, one of the greatest defensemen in the league and as a, as a resource too, like you said, when he's in town to call and, and meet up again. And I know you wore number five last year in Charlottetown, obviously it wasn't available this year with, <laughs> with Tristan in it, but that was obviously a nod to him. Was it as a, as a way to pay tribute? Yeah. But the number five was always like my, like, uh, I would say, I don't know. I was just a Growing up, that was always your number. Yeah, it was always my number, okay. like my like chance number, I can say. Yeah. So, but. It all worked out. <laughs> yeah, I like small numbers. So number two is just, I think it's close to five. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And you said growing up, you know, you played a lot of different sports in that. Obviously, you landed on hockey, which has worked out uh, quite well for you so far. Um, but you also said that you were a bit of a musician as mu musician as well. So what other um, instruments do you play and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. But I, when I was like, I will say one, two years old, my dad played a lot of guitar and like music was there for me. It's like another world than hockey. So that's fun. So he, he buy me a, a slayer like on a drum. So I start playing drums and buy some some like toys about it and one time I just go on guitar and I just start like playing and I don't know I got it <laughs> and Do you still play now yeah I still play now it's it's more easy to like travel with my guitar than my yeah. drum you know <laughs> so yeah but you might I'm get in trouble in the hotels with a drum set on the road oh, yeah I don't think so my billets would like it <laughs> so that's awesome You'll yeah, be able to entertain the group. <laughs> yeah, the boy. I think a couple boys know. Like I play some guitar and like like it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, like I said, I know it's been hard since you guys have been separated a little bit, where there's been no practice during Red and that. But have you got a chance to get to know some of the new guys over Zoom and 
and texting and that just to, you know, I know, you know, some of them for being in the league and that, but have you got a chance to, to get to know some of your new teammates? Yeah, of course. Like I, I play against Moncton. So I know a little bit, I know the name, but I don't know like the person is mm-hmm. behind the name. So I, yeah, no, for the two, three days we were together, <laughs> I, I, I try to like chat with all the boys or yeah. just like at school, we, we can like, but so yeah, we got the chance to meet all the boys, know a little bit, like more personal the boys, mm-hmm. but still, I got some some work to do to know a little bit more about the boys. But <laughs> well, to be fair, you haven't had much time, so hopefully yeah, exactly. in the next few weeks here, you'll uh, you guys yeah. will be able to to have some more time together. And you yeah. also mentioned you grew up um, playing with some other guys on the team here and there. Who were those uh, those other players on the Wildcats that you had crossed paths with at one point in in uh, in junior? Yeah, like, like I say, Vincent Abel was with me with my abilities. I play with him. He come from, I will say, 30 minutes to my home. So we were playing summer hockey. Uh, like Francis Langlois, we were playing together too, like tournament and again, summer summer hockey, Owen Stammer, um, uh, who else? But a couple boys I know too because we're playing like each other like midget or so yeah it's fun to to see some familiar faces <laughs> yeah familiar face yeah exactly that's great well thank you so much anthony for taking the time we really appreciate it um stay safe stay busy keep working out i know you guys are in school every day just waiting for the day that you can get back on the ice but uh we appreciate you taking the time and uh can't look can't wait to uh to see you on the ice like we said in a wildcats jersey very soon Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks.